one of the phones that's created the most buzz here at Communicasia is Nokia's N9. And we're about to get a full hands-on and some extra sneak peeks at what it can do. Hi. Um, so I, I'm going to show off the N9 today. Let me start first off with the hardware. If you can see, um, we have three colors. We have black, we have magenta, and cyan. Um, it's a single piece of polycarbonate plastic where the color is um, intrinsically in the whole device. So if this scratches or gets marked up, the color will never rub off because it's solid color. Also what's um, new is we have a, um, a Active Matrix Super OLED screen that has um, curved Gorilla Glass on it. Gorilla Glass is the same glass that they make windshields out, uh, for helicopters on, so it's very strong and virtually indestructible. To, and this is running the MIGO operating system. So let me do a small introduction to the MIGO operating system. When the um, screen lock is on, you'll just see it shows a time. It'll have indicators if you have voicemail, new SMSs, or email. You can double tap it. And if you notice, there are no buttons on the front screen. Everything is done with gestures. So you simply swipe to go around the home screens. We have three home screens. This is called the event screen. It basically is um, showing all notifications, like if you have new, new SMSs, voicemail, email, etc. And if you configure Facebook or Twitter, it shows all the latest status updates from your networks. After that, we have the um, app grid. So this is basically all of the apps that you have installed, your call, contact, search, web browser, chat, etc. So basically very familiar for most people. But then the really innovative part is now we also have this multitasking view. The multitasking view is all of the apps that you have currently running in the background on your phone. They're all live, so as you're doing things and they update, if the weather updates or so on, you'll see it in the home screen. It's like when you're running programs on your computer, that they're always live, always active. And you can do a quick tap and then it just brings up the app. If um, you want to switch to another program, you just simply swipe it away and launch, for example, the music store. And it loads. And then if you want to switch back, like you want to make a phone call, you open the phone app and you make a phone call. This also has a um, 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss autofocus camera. We um, do interesting things on the software where, for example, we do um, face detection on autofocus. So when you're taking a picture, the camera always focuses, always sees whatever you want to take a picture of and it automatically focuses on it. And then um, you take the picture and it comes out quite nice. It does um, HD video at, uh, at 30 frames per second, also with autofocus video. So, so this has NFC. NFC can be used for pairing. For example, we have the uh, new Bluetooth speakers. To, to um, use it, all you need to do is tap. It activates NFC. It connects. And then you can start the music player. And the music comes from the uh, NFC speakers. We also have NFC headsets so that to pair you don't need to activate Bluetooth or anything you just tap the um, phone to the headset and automatically connect. If you have another phone you can also share pictures by just tapping the two phones together through NFC and then that will also exchange the pictures. Can you exchange music like that too? Uh, we do not do that. Um, you can do basically any files but right now we're, we're um, doing business cards and pictures and videos to start with. What else is your favorite feature on this phone? So, so what I really like about this is um, we integrate a lot of things. So when you go online with any services like Facebook or Twitter or Skype or Google Talk, you can activate the, um, first let me get a uh, internet connection. You can go online and then, then all of your contacts are downloaded and merged with your other existing contacts. And then you can see who is online if they're available on Facebook and Skype, you can start chatting with them on through Facebook chat or Skype chat or Google Talk chat, and it will download the, the um, thumbnail, the status updates, and you can just basically stay online with everybody. So that's one thing that I use a lot. Let me just 
okay, we are connected. So that basically you can see my friend Anika, she is online. She's enjoying Communicate Asia with Nokia. And you basically, from that, you can, I could just give her a call right away, chat, or start talking about what she's doing here. So, so that we really integrate that really well, and everything is sort of managed quite nicely. You can see all the online statuses by the um, green, green button that shows that they're online, so you can chat right away. Also, um, with that, though, I have to say, I just really like enjoying, the, or I just really enjoy the whole UI. So if you notice, it's all gesture-based. You don't have to push buttons. Basically, when you open an app, you can swipe in any direction and change it and basically open up the app and then you put it in the background and it still keeps working. When things are running in the background, you'll notice, like the compass, you can see that it's still working and still live in the background. What chip is inside? So it is an OMAP 3 uh, from Texas Instruments. It's 3630 at 1 gigahertz. Um, processor speed. We have a gigabyte of RAM for applications to run in. So basically, um, you can run about as many apps as you want in the background, and it's just based upon how much RAM they're using. And then we have two uh, memory configurations, 16 gigabytes and 64 gigabytes for your media, for your storage, for your pictures and music.